this is Corey, and today we're going to take a look at the new Google Quick Search box for Mac OS X Leopard. Uh, this was just actually announced, I believe, yesterday. Uh, it may be a couple days ago, uh, but I've had a chance to play with it, and I am slowly falling in love with it. Uh, search on the Mac has always been something nice. Uh, we've had Spotlight that we could always use, and Spotlight does a great job. There's also a search product called Quicksilver, uh, which has a lot of power, but a little too much for my taste for what I use it for. Uh, so Google Search Box, let me pull that up real quick, is just this. It's got a couple shortcut keys, and we can search several things with this. So I can search to launch an application like dictionary and you see when I pull this up it actually shows me my first choice of dictionary it shows Google searches for what it thinks I'm looking for so digital city possible uh, delicious digital color meter it shows me a whole bunch of different things that I can go for but I want to do dictionary here and I can go to different parts here. So if I arrow over, I can go to the contents, get info, move to trash, open, or even quick look. So we're going to open it. And normally we wouldn't go through all these steps, but here we have dictionary launched. So let's go back and let's search for something uh, online. So we're just going to go, let's just type in Mac News. And you'll see here that we're getting the Macworld feed. Too bad it's not the Macgasm feed. Uh, we can do a Google search flat out for Mac News. And it also gives us the dictionary for that as well. And then we have a link down here for Mac NN and we can do other searches. So we'll just do a Google search for Mac News here. This is going to launch Safari and it's going to bring up a bunch of websites so you see Macworld of course is up at the top Mac and in Mac rumors Apple different sites like that but it actually launches our application so actually let's actually quit Safari and we're going to launch Safari just using this and again I only had to type in a few words because of the AI in the Google search box just from a few letters it can tell what I want to find so I type in SA and it's going to narrow it down to okay well maybe he means Safari on his Mac so we can launch Safari pops it up launches the application for me and of course we go straight to macasm.net so let me minimize that and let's take a look at some of the features now normally when you launch something your Google bar is going to go away. There's two shortcut keys to bring it back. You can hit Command twice, or you can hit Control Space Bar. Okay, let's get rid of that, and let's take a look at the preferences here. So here's, well first here's a couple things that we can make sure that it always searches for. So right now my default is set for computer and web. You can set it to search uh, Google Image Search, Gmail, Google News, Google Product Search, Wikipedia, Google Docs, YouTube, and Google Finances. Well, let's go over here to our preferences, and you have a few different things that we can do. We can have it do. So we can have it just show up a uh, in the menu bar up here. We can have it show in the dock, and I have it turned off. And I'm going when I relaunch this, that's actually going to go away because I don't like a lot of clutter in my dock. I like a lot of clutter in my menu bar for some reason. You can have it set up to use quick search or open quick search when you turn on your computer, uh, which can be very beneficial. I'm going to actually check that myself. And you can send your usage statistics to Google. Uh, some people are gonna like to do that. Some people won't. You've got paranoid people and you've got people that aren't so paranoid. So that's kind of your own thing I think right now with the product being fairly new I think that's gonna be it'd be good to send your statistics 
uh, because it'll give them something a little bit more to improve on, but to each their own. Here for the shortcuts, you can customize your shortcuts and you can pick themes. So if you want a different color theme box, you can pick that. So let's take a look at what blue looks like. So there we go. Uh, back to the preferences though, we're gonna take a look at searchable items. Now you can see it says show website suggestions from google.com, show search suggestions from google.com. Well, everything here that's clicked or check marked is more that it's gonna search through. So you can actually uncheck some of these or check some more if you would like. Uh, something really handy is if you have a large iTunes library and you don't even have iTunes up, you can search for the artist or for the song and you'll be able to bring that up and I'll actually show you that here in a minute. So accounts, I don't have any of my accounts added. I'll do that here in a little bit. And then under the hood is gonna show some extra little things that are involved with the application itself. And as you can see, it, it will use growl notifications, uh, but growl annoys me. So let's go to accounts and let me just uh, add an account. That's fine, I'm a, I'm a little slow. So you type in your Gmail account or it even shows your Twitter account which I let me let's try what a Twitter account does. Well, hopefully that doesn't put all your searches everywhere. Okay, so we've got those in there, and let's change this look again because I don't want that look. We'll do green. Everyone likes green, right? Kind of ugly. Okay, well that's the new Google search. And you can download that at google.com slash Google search box. And it is free. And uh, download it, see if it might replace Quicksilver if you're a Quicksilver user, uh, or if it replaces Spotlight for you. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.